Hello everyone. I am just thrilled to be able to make this video now. It's taken quite a bit of time um, to get to this point. But what it's about is a complete rebuild of the submarine. Now, I've got already on the web page a whole lot of videos about the build of it. I have rebuilt it internally. And the reason I've done it is because I have made a discovery as a modeler. I've discovered Arduino, which is a microprocessor that you can program yourself and put inside a boat. So what does this mean in terms of the submarine? First of all, um, I've got a receiver sitting in there, just as before. A and this time, however, instead of wires going from the receiver into various units that I've bought or uh, servos, most of them go straight into the Arduino. And out of the Arduino, there's a whole lot of wires going to a bank of eight relays that control all of the functions of the boat. I've also go got going into the Arduino the output from a little pressure gauge that sits in the bow. Now, with all of that, I can make this thing stand on its head. Well, that's a little extreme. But I can make it hold its depth underwater. I can make it go through a surfacing routine and a diving routine, and I can control it much, much better. I'm really happy about that. And it's not only that. Um, I've done other things now, too. For example, I've got this old tugboat that I used to have a camera on the front. I've now got a camera on the front and in the middle, and when I put it in the middle of the pond, I can set it on a course and it will hold it because it's got a compass, and it has a little Arduino sitting inside it. So all of this is really fantastic. So what does it actually mean? You see, these Arduinos um, are just little processors. There's nothing inside them. You actually have to get the code and upload it into the Arduino. Now, I've got the codes for what I've done, and, that's, and I'm more than happy for people to see them and play with them and do whatever they want. But the, the, the trick's going to be, if you're going to get into this, you're really going to have to do a little bit of work and, and learn about um, how to program those little chips. But it's not that hard. That's the trick. And I'm no expert at it. Oh, believe me, I'm no expert. But I take the code that I've got, I play with it, I add bits, shift it around until it works. And I don't necessarily understand it all. The real Arduino buffs are now rolling in their grave as they hear me say that. But what I actually want to do is, is get a particular outcome. There's another thing here too. All of the stuff that I've taken out of the boat has been quite expensive. I have added an Arduino Nano, which is the little uh, microprocessor that costs $5. The pressure gauge was about 20. That's the most expensive part. And that bank of eight relays was eight dollars. Believe me, eight dollars. So it's really absolutely amazing, I think, that what happens is we all get caught up in our particular hobbies and we follow them through. Um, whether you're into model boats or submarines or trains or whatever. If you Google Arduino, you'll find a whole s a ridiculous number of people playing with Arduino. But do they all talk together? No, they don't. So what I'm trying to do with this video is just bring together some well-developed hobby streams and say, hey, we should use this. It's just amazing. The next video I'm going to put in this, in this series is a really good one because it, I, I did it quite a long time ago and it was after I got the Arduino out and I got this, all these wires and I got the transmitter and I did all of this sort of stuff. And I said, this is what I want to get working in a boat. So it was my very beginning point. Now, with anything like particularly a submarine, it never works like that. You start off with an idea, you end up having to change a whole lot of things as you go, and that's part of the fun of the hobby, I, I suppose, that best laid plans just don't work. So consequently, as I go through these videos and you see what I'm doing, uh, I'm going to tell you now that a whole lot of things didn't end up the way they started. And, and I'll just list them quickly now. One of the things that happened is that I actually got rid of my radio unit and I bought another one. I got a nine channel radio unit. That's made a lot of difference and it simplified a lot of the code inside the boat as well. So that's been a real plus. Of course, for us submariners, we all need to go for either 36 or 40 or 72 megahertz low frequencies to go into water. 
everything's now getting to be 2.4 gigahertz. So, you, you know, that doesn't go through, that bounces off water. So our stuff is old, and I, I found on eBay this really nice nine-channel stuff, which is all about planes, really, and I've got it, and it's working much, much better. Another thing that I discovered is that I needed to install uh, a completely separate 9 volt battery to run the Arduino that's not connected to anything else. No surges, nothing. It just runs the Arduino on its own. That's been a very, um, that, that was a very necessary addition. And because of this, because this is a submarine and it goes underwater and sometimes you can't see it, I also added a little micro switch that does, has got nothing to do with the Arduino. It's driven by a servo and when I turn it all the way over it reboots the Arduino, which occurs in about one second. Gives me enormous peace to know that all I have to do is flick this switch and I've rebooted the Arduino. Not that I've ever really ne necessarily had to do it, but it's peace of mind when you're wondering what's going to happen. And one other thing that happened um, right at the beginning of this process is that I have a, 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 an impeller pump, a two-way impeller pump that works with my ballast tank. And it's a subtech pump and it, it's years and years old and it died. So I replaced it with a gear pump, which was very, very slow. And I was really wondering what to do. And the best kind of pump is an impeller pump for this particular model of boat. And I couldn't find one, so I built one. I got on the lathe and made one. I'll show you how I did that. And, and it empties and fills this tank in 12 seconds, really fast. So the videos themselves, as I said, the next video is the starting point. The third video is, is sort of interesting because I, it was to do with the pumps and the gear pump, it gave me a problem. So I ended up changing the code in the Arduino to fix the problem, and I'm going to show you how that happened. It's all been trumped anyway now, because I've got a much better pump, etc, etc, but it's just an interesting exercise to see how Arduino works. The fourth video, I've got the test tank, and we'll see the boat going up and down in the test tank and how the routines work. But the fifth video is simply about Arduino, and it's an introduction to Arduino, so you understand how it works. And I've got on my YouTube channel a whole slab of uh, training videos on um, Arduino. The guy that does it is really clear, and, and I'd suggest that you go through them because it's, it's the way to learn. And after that, the videos go through the rewire and what happened after that, which is that I had to re-ballast the boat and blah, 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 blah. So there's a whole lot of work that went into the boat, and it goes on to about 15 or 16 videos rewiring the hydroplanes, all that sort of stuff. So it's all very interesting, and, and I, I find it intriguing. Um, so it's all there. So please enjoy, and um, get into Arduino.